everyone my name is ravi welcome to the channel today uh, i am here to discuss about some of the very important question of azure data factory question and answers uh, one of my friend dinkar has attended the interview on amazon uh, where he faced some issues uh, on azure data factory question and answer so i am taking those questions and trying to the answer on the best way for the interview prospect you uh, you should have or you might have another perspective to give the answers but this is my opinion or my experience from the google or my real time exposure so uh, let's start the discussion about the question what we are covering today so if you are new to the channel please do the hit bell icon bell icon you can subscribe the channel and you can share who are going to attend the interview so in my video you will get the videos for power bi sql servers or azure data factory or in future if you interested i can create a video on azure data factory or azure setup in azure sectors okay how to achieve it so let's let's directly jump into the question what we are covering today so my first question would be how pagination define for indexing in sql so everyone knows uh, in sql server we have indexes for query optimizations so what until we want to understand how much pages we have for the data on the index so we can discuss on the detail later second question uh, if we have uh, more indexes in the table it you helpful for your uh, performances uh, third question i'm taking from the adf side uh, so we have a data flow we have adf so what is the difference between on those so we can cover the topic little bit on that and my fifth fourth question from the azure synapse side uh, what is external sources in azure synapse so this is a might be new question for you but i try to answer it out and fifth question is from the azure side uh, so user wanted means interview wanted to understand uh, how we set the alert in teams from for for once you have adf failure so you have a bulleted tab you can set the alert over there on adf side but this question for the team side how you throw the alert in the teams okay uh, if your adf pipeline fails uh, this question i'm taking from the sql where how you change your schema okay and uh, seven month how you rename your column in the table on sql okay so these are the seven question i'm going to cover today uh, and if if you think this this uh, i do i know there are a few column common question you can arrive okay so i have created most of such videos so let's discuss one by one okay let's come to my first slide so if you know about uh, indexes indexes help you to perform uh, or optimize your query to retrieve the data faster right so you should understand how the data rows defined okay so to be very clear indexes basically basically on two types cluster index and non cluster indexes uh, cluster indexes you can see the diagram right we have indexes rows and that will split into multiple indexes rows and the leaf node is called a data rows where you have actual data so cluster index i am referring right now okay so please be differentiate i am discussing cluster index not a, not a non cluster indexes so cluster indexes uh, what what is that uh, once you create a cluster index there should be you understand it on the sorted order and you have a numeric data for that like your surrogate key or your employee id so take example we have a uh, surrogate keys for for in the table of fact or dimension you can take any so let's take example we in surrogate key we have 12000 rows okay 1 2 3 4 started and it should be sorted order uh, and uh, once you create an indexes so by default sql engine create indexes rows means suppose you have 1200 then it will divide into to half okay so your for, for first 400 in one indexes second indexes will go ahead on uh, incremental it means more than 500 of one four not one it go to the left side okay on middle side you can differentiate anything so in the, this diagram we have differentiated three indexes row okay means first index row will capture three details means one to 400 record go your left 400 to 800 go to middle and 800 to 1200 go to right okay uh, just like your uh, index table on your books okay keep it like that on second index row it will do, split into more part like 1 to 200 200 to 400 400 to 600 600 to 800 and so on so data rows it will be faster for example take example i am searching for 406 rows 
take example that so how it will go it will go to first root node index index rows and then it will split down to your right corner because 800 more data we have in the right indexes right so it go to again index rows second second uh, 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 substitute rows and you will find in middle 806 on the your fourth uh, sixth uh, fifth data rows so how you answer it sql inject define how many data float we have okay so it's not answered you can define it's a sql page nation page up decide okay so it's a sql engine can decide how many data flow for your table so how you answer it sql engine have a capabilities to define a data rows and data rows uh, carry the indexes rows for your indexes root uh, uh, files okay so you can take like that okay but suppose you have a non cluster indexes then non cluster indexes have a different approach because in a table we can have only one cluster index but in a non cluster index we can have many there's no no count of it but if you have a more than two rows like you imply first name and i love last name a full name or address you have created a different uh, non cluster indexes so non cluster index store your row id row id on different location it is stored physically okay so that part i'm not covering because i have uploaded a different video for that indexing there i believe everything so you understand how pages will be defined based on sql server it will define and now cross index we have a different storage key where it will search the store row id first then it will come back to your actual data where you have point pointing it out okay okay you understand that first question you answer sql engine will define the answer okay second question i'm going how more indexes help not helpful for the table so creating too many indexes are uh, can significantly increase the size of your database suppose you have more non cluster indexes because uh, cluster we have only one right so you cannot get more index on that you can have a component but this not question so suppose you have four four non cluster indexes so you have a four store id means you have row id stored on different location now it cost to store the data right you have somewhere cost you have space occupied for that and for that you have additional cost so suppose you change you do some insertion or you do update or delete so each index is being optimized right? being checked right on the particular pattern means is this something happened so that will take time so if you have more indexes that is not good for your table you just have those indexes which is helpful okay so when you have insertion update delete then it, it index will update uh, the new record right based on your indexes so it will sl slower down your operations so, so what do you i mean how so you can answer on that way so how if your index is being increased that will slower down your write operations that could be insertion update and delete okay might be selection will really be faster but it will slow down your right operations okay that would be helpful uh, let's jump to your fourth question okay so what is the difference between adf and data flows as you know azure adf is belongs to azure data factory that will uh, consist of your data flows and your control for operations so if i ask you azure data factory sign is on cloud native design right azure data factory based on your cloud platform right is from my coming from microsoft so it integrated with azure services like azure functions keyboards ad databricks you can say anything and if it is a cloud it work on case cost effective pay per use prices right based on your data value based on your execution duration it will cost so azure data factory consists of your cloud native design okay and data flow is a is a stream analytic software like you have insert insert inject it you can process high volumes or you can do live data streams so if you if you ask me differences so azure data factory is combination of uh, azure data languages like cloud native languages where you can define your control flows you also can use data flows on top of it so data flow is just for data uh, arch synthesis or data manipulation languages where you can data manipulate but adf belongs to both you can control your data flows you can do data manipulation you can do uh, define your complete uh, ir services okay you can answer like that so third fourth question would be coming from synapse site okay what is the external sources in azure synapse 
so that means suppose you have a blob location and you have file keep in mind like you have blob location you have file in the file uh, i want the use case like why you load those file into your some some file structures if it is not required so suppose your file is structured defined in uh, azure blob location like uh, if you know metallic metallic uh, structure you have a silver you have uh, uh, silver browns and you have a gold right so in suppose you have a gold layer means you have all data predefined means data structure been placed so why you load those table uh, data to table it's not required what what is this mean so you can create a external source to point the blob location okay so you can directly read the data do the operation and show the report right i'm skipping the uh, one is the pipeline for Azure to load the data in SQL Server or any databases. So instead of doing that, you this concept called Polybase actually you can search it out. If you need, let me know. So Polybase is a concept where we directly create a table and which point using external source to your blob location. Okay, means as you file I'm directly pointing it out and do the operation, do the enrichment, do the formulas and directly represent on the reporting label. So it's a stellar source for synapse. Uh, you can use that term to polybase in SQL Server, Azure Data Factory, you can do, but uh, this is a question being asked, so I can answer it. So syntax you can see, create a stellar data sources and what is the table name or source name, and you can define the server name, you have a uh, define the credential on top of it, and you can use it. So whenever you create new table using those data sources, external data sources, you can directly use it. Okay, you, I think you're able to answer it okay let's jump to next question being alerts okay so how to get alert in teams if any failure in adf so if you know adf provide a services in alert mechanism uh, once you have any fail pipeline you can notify by a mail anywhere okay but question is how you get alert in teams suppose you, because team is very famous these days and we can do all the operations so why we check mails so because you you have more time in your team so i want to notify the team so how you do that so if you have teams you can create a one channel and channel you can add a connector called uh, waybook okay uh, in waybook once you configure it out it asks two parameters uh, it will show you that uh, parameter called your url of that team, team channel and what's his logo okay so once you create the channel you just save the url and pass this url to your web or webbook activity okay let's take example web so once you choose your webbook activity with url okay just keep in mind and once your activity fail right somehow it get failed in high level assume that fail after that you have used webbook activity that point to your team's location okay in team's location and you can you have to get two parameters one is for fetch the message correct and what pipeline get failed just take example your uh, uh, store procedure activity get failed take example so while failing you should get some uh, message right fail because of deadline fail because of constant fail because of not availability server not reachable or credentials anything so once you get the message you that message you have to pass to wave via parameters okay and once you define define the body you can pass that message body to reflect on your team's location so this is method I can refer it out. If you know more methods, you can just chat me out. I can uh, do the POC and come with another video. So for me, you you can use webbook activity and web both with work. And uh, you know webbook activity require a, a, a write back means suppose your webbook activity keep running actually okay. So what you have to do, you have to define a write back functionality. So once your operation done, you have to make a write back operation or callback URL. You can call it. So you can use callback URL and pass the URL. Okay. So that will be answer to get the letter on Teams. Okay. Uh, if you need any information or more, more video on that, I can create it out. I have POC on done. Let's come to uh, SQL question now. How to change the schema of the table? Uh, this question might be a tricky one, but sometimes they ask. So I written the statement called alter schema sales. Okay, sales is my uh, old schema. Well, transfer to this. Okay, uh, so production photo uh, was in sales earlier. 
to wait let me recall it uh, alter schema sales pro okay okay that's why so i am changing production to sales sorry my bag i got confused so uh, how to change schema of table alter schema that's the new schema and transfer from production to production photo okay so what is production production we have i am transferring transferring the table production photo to sales so once you run this this statement then production dot production photo table transfer to sales schema okay uh, last question uh, i know this is fast track i done but if you need, have need any clarification just chat me out i'll try to answer it out how to rename a column of table in sql so that's very is easy but sometimes tricky so i have answer for that uh, using sp rename uh, function okay so once you i execute execute sp underscore rename uh, sorry it's a stored procedure sorry my bad uh, this is a stored procedure what you have to define uh, what is the schema what is a table and what column you are changing okay so i defining for the source first then which table uh, which column i need to rename so here large photo file name is my column i am replacing with terror id and what i what operation i do i want to do a column change. rename a column right i need to parameter i want to do a column changes yeah so you can do the poc on top of it if you have any doubt and let me know so this is my this list uh, if you are preparing for the azure data factory interview question if you watching my all the playlists you would get a confidence to attempt it and attempt properly with your confidence okay so best after for interview and please subscribe the channel spread the this channel to all who working on sql power bi and your azure data factory my name is ravi thank you have a nice day